Why is understanding the factors affecting diffusion so crucial? Well, it's the essence of countless processes happening around us and within our bodies every single moment. From the dispersal of a fragrance in a room to the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in our lungs, diffusion is happening everywhere. Today, we'll delve into the main factors that affect this fascinating process. First off, let's explore the surface area to volume ratio. It's a key player in determining the rate of diffusion. The larger the surface area in relation to the volume, the faster the diffusion occurs. Imagine a sponge soaked in water. If you squeeze it, water diffuses out quickly because of the vast surface area it provides for diffusion to occur. Similarly, in the human body, the alveoli in our lungs have an immense surface area which allows for efficient gas exchange. Secondly, we have temperature. Higher temperatures provide particles with more kinetic energy, causing them to move faster and collide more often. This increased movement and collision frequency speeds up the diffusion process. Think of a tea bag diffusing in a cup of hot water versus a cup of cold water. The tea diffuses much quicker in the hot water due to the increased temperature. The third factor to consider is the thickness of the membrane. The thinner the membrane, the quicker the diffusion. This is because particles have less distance to travel to move from one side to the other. In biological terms, this is why the walls of capillaries are only one cell thick, allowing nutrients and waste to quickly pass in and out of the blood. Next up is the size of the particles. The smaller the particles, the faster they can diffuse. Think of it like a race between a mouse and an elephant. The mouse is much more nimble and can navigate through spaces quicker than the elephant. Similarly, smaller particles can navigate through spaces and across membranes more quickly than larger ones. Fifthly, we have the concentration gradient. This refers to the difference in concentration between two areas. The greater the difference, the faster the diffusion. It's like a crowd of people leaving a concert. The larger the crowd, or concentration, the faster people will spread out or diffuse to less crowded areas. Finally, the physical state of particles also plays a role. Gases diffuse faster than liquids, and liquids diffuse faster than solids. This is because particles in gases are further apart and move more rapidly than those in liquids or solids. In sum, diffusion is influenced by the surface area to volume ratio, temperature, membrane thickness, particle size, concentration gradient, and the physical state of particles. Understanding these factors can help us grasp how diffusion works not only in scientific experiments but also in our everyday lives and within our own bodies. Remember, diffusion isn't just an abstract concept, it's a reality that's happening all around us, all the time.